There are several inspiring stories uh, within the Ukrainian forces amid all the gloom of the war. Uh, and here is uh, one soldier, uh, Oleksy, uh, who is uh, now with uh, a unit which is defending a key location, ensuring uh, the, if, if there is a Russian invasion into Kharkiv, how his unit will stop it. Uh, so can you tell us your story? I will not ask any questions. Uh, just let me know what your story is. You are not a trained soldier, but here you are in military fatigues, rifle in hand, taking on the enemy. Uh, my story is not so uh, huge and uh, grateful. I was a usual citizen in Kharkiv. I have my uh, advertisement marketing uh, agency and a usual civilian. Every day I walk to my work. I have a small business. And uh, after uh, February and start invasion of the Russia, everything changed. I took my family to the west of the Ukraine and uh, came back to join our forces to defend our city, our 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 homes. So I don't have any other choice. I don't have, I don't want to run any any uh, any place yeah. from here. You don't want to leave this town and go out. Uh, your business, you said, probably wasn't running now, or, or is it? Yeah, well, my, my business is over, over uh, with the start of the war. So uh, uh, every people is uh, in some kind of vacation for now. And uh, so, what did your family say? Family wasn't scared joining the forces. No battle experience, no training. Uh, yeah, it's scary. Of course, it's scary because war is all, always scary. But uh, I need to be here. I need to uh, defend my city, my town, my home. What else I, do I need to? Who do? all are there in your family? Can you tell us a bit about your family? Uh, I have a wife. I have a daughter. Uh, they. Uh, how old is she? How old? Uh, uh, Forty-two. Your daughter. Your daughter. Your daughter. Sixteen. Sixteen years. Yes. So can you go back? Do they wait for you at home? Uh, it's not usual business, office is over, you can go home. How is the routine now? How is it different now from what it used to be? Before? I don't uh, see my family about a month, so I don't uh, have to uh, some kind of vacation. We, I, we don't move from here, so we every day, uh, 24 hours in uh, our city and with my uh, brothers, uh, soldiers. It's uh, really inspiring uh, to uh, listen to stories like this. When was the last time you saw your family? Uh, it was uh, in start of the March, so more than one month ago. More than a month ago, and uh, do you have any idea when you're going to see them, or you just speak to them on phone? On phone, yeah, we have uh, calls, uh, but when I see and hug my daughter, I don't know, really. Unfortunately, so... We pray and... Uh, our best wishes to all of you here that you know this comes to an end uh, very soon and people like you can go back to their normal lives. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. There are many stories like this. There are many individuals who gave up their normal lives, gave up their professions. Ukraine had a small military. It wasn't a huge superpower like Russia. But they've proven that human spirit can make sure that you can take on the toughest of enemies and that's what they are doing they are saying that they'll continue to do so till the russians go back completely with camera person lalit joshi this is abhishek bhalla from the kharkiv region for india today